New at 6 tonight, health screenings for newborns can save lives. That's the message from a mother pushing for a bill that would strengthen those screenings in Colorado. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, live at Children's Hospital. Sean, sounds like Colorado has some catching up to do. And Jim, Colorado hasn't reviewed and updated its newborn screening program in 20 years. These screenings test for genetic conditions that, if not detected early, can be deadly. The little girl you're about to meet, one of the lucky ones. Caitlin Freoff was five days old when her parents got the call her newborn screening had come back abnormal. I remember hanging up the phone and looking at Jason and saying, we have a normal, healthy baby girl. What could possibly be wrong? Within hours, she was airlifted to Children's Hospital and diagnosed with methamylomic acidemia. She was missing enzymes that break down protein and amino acids. Doctors told the family if not for the newborn screening, she likely would have died within days. And I know we're in a day and age where lots of parents opt out of some of the medical procedures. And um, she wouldn't be here if we had done that. Can you open real big? Today, Caitlin is five years old and receives treatment at Children's Genetics Clinic. Dr. Peter Baker says the benefits of newborn screenings are indisputable, but he says as tests for new conditions have become available, Colorado hasn't kept up. Its newborn screenings haven't been reviewed in 20 years. We're trying to make the system as good as we can to be able to prevent as many bad outcomes as we can. Which is why Children's is among more than a dozen health organizations supporting legislation that would require the health department to review newborn screenings each year and add new tests as they become available. To help save these babies' lives who would otherwise be asymptomatic and then have some tragic event in the first few years of life. We probably wouldn't have a five-year-old right now. I'm told the main reason the screenings haven't been updated is because the program is underfunded. The bill allows the health department to adjust those fees, which most insurers do cover. It also requires the health department to improve hearing screenings for newborns. The bill does have bipartisan support. Live at Children's Hospital, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Thanks, Sean.